elke dag hijst Armando Marquez de Amerikaanse vlag. Hij en zijn 85-jarige vrouw Christina zijn van oorsprong Mexicaans. Evenals bijna de gehele bevolking van zijn woonplaats El Paso. Een stad van bijna 700.000 inwoners in de staat Texas aan de Mexicaanse grens. Heel zijn leven woont Armando er al. Hij en zijn jaar oudere broer Mike treden hier in 1942 vrijwillige militaire dienst. Ze worden opgeleid tot parachutist om te gaan vechten in de oorlog in Europa. You know, when you're young, you, you want to be a hero, you want to be this and that. We weren't thinking uh, much about the war, yeah. Zowel Armando als zijn broer Mike zullen de oorlog overleven. Maar Mike sterft in 2008. You know, it's right here. Hij is begraven op de militaire begraafplaats van Fort Bliss in El Paso. Ja, yeah. we, uh, we were together in, in the war for over three years. But he was a good soldier. Yeah. He wasn't afraid of anything. But now that I'm here, yeah, it, it hurts. I don't know why, but it hurts. Uh, th this is a picture of our regimental headquarters company. This is Mike, my brother, and, and this is me right there. The original company, I don't believe there's one alive right now. De parachutistentraining van Armando begint in 1942. Hij is dan 17 jaar. In totaal maakt hij 35 oefensprongen. Het laatste gedeelte van zijn opleiding is in Engeland. Maar dan komt D-Day, de eerste slag voor de parachutisten. Armando wordt gedropt achter de vijandelijke linies in Frankrijk. Some of us, we jump about. 10 miles away from our job zone. And uh, because they, they couldn't see the job zone, the, the pilots, and then with the shooting and all that, uh, they, they didn't know where we were. And when I landed, I, I broke my, my leg. And, and uh, the reason I broke my leg was it was a rookie pilot and he was flying too low and too fast. As soon as the parachute opened, I hit the ground. Na zijn herstel in Engeland wacht Armando op een nieuwe kans om te springen. Die sprong komt er in Nederland tijdens operatie Market Garden op 17 september 1944. It was in a Sunday at noon. Then that's when it started burning, the, the hot air. It blew me about 100 yards away from the fire. Armando is gesprongen in Son. Zijn groep moet Eindhoven bevrijden. But they knock out the bridges, the Germans did. And then we didn't get to Eindhoven until next day. I don't believe they thought we were going to capture Eindhoven because we, we didn't see any Germans. This is... Uh, The one that they gave us when we liberated Holland. It was a civilian. He, he gave it to me. When we entered uh, Eindhoven in all that celebration, and oh boy, I don't know what it says. Guten und Eindhoven. Or is that thanks for liberation? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Weinig tegenstand in eerste instantie. De parachutisten wachten op het grondleger dat een dag later aankomt. Dan volgt er een Duits bombardement. Zijn maat Davidson raakt zwaar gewond. His leg was blown off below his knee. And then the top of his head, you could see his brains wiggling like a shrimp. And I said, are you hurting? He said, no, I feel no pain. Hij zal een dag later sterven. Ook vallen er burgerslachtoffers tijdens het bombardement. Een jong stel met hun baby. I saw them laying on, on a door, the three of them, and, and uh, two guys were carrying them out of the uh, apartment. For me, it was the worst thing of the war. I, I could see Germans all blown up and American soldiers, but that thing, uh, I didn't like it. I, it. It affected me, yeah. I really got mad at the Germans. Uh, this picture was taken in uh, Eindhoven, But that, that's me right there painting uh, this German truck that we captured. And that little boy there, he followed me all over, all over. I let him carry my rifle. Loaded. It was loaded. And I let him carry it, yeah. And I would give him candy, gum, and whatever I had. I got attached to him. But I, I missed him. I missed him. I couldn't understand what, 
what he was saying, but he was a clean cut boy, yeah. Na een paar maanden breekt Armando opnieuw zijn been tijdens een mortieraanval bij Vechel. Voor hem is de oorlog nu voorbij. Dertien medailles en drie jaar diensttijd vallen hem ten neer, waaronder drie bronzen medailles. Bronze stars are given when you are in combat and you excel in fighting in, in combat. But that, that's for being uh, brave. I actually should receive only two of them, but they send me three, so I'll keep them. I'm very proud, very proud. Will you be buried here too? Oh yes. Cemetery? Mm -hmm. Let's see who kicks the bucket first. Uh, we'll flip on it. Yeah. <laughs>